Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, July the 3rd, which is a Friday, and we uh, are just about to walk over the little rise here. It's the Thousand Island Lake for the second time in two days. <laughs> um, how's that happen, you ask? Well, we came in last night, and uh, sorry, this is a rough road. Came in last night late and wanted to try and do a little fishing, which we did. Caught one fish. <laughs> and then there was nowhere to camp because a large part of the, the lake is a no camping area. So we actually had to backtrack about a quarter of a mile to find a place to camp. So now we're walking back over that same terrain. I'll flip the camera around so you can see what the lake looks like in the morning light. There you go. So it's just as beautiful, if not more so, in the morning than it was last night. And uh, I'll film it again when we get up a little bit higher so you can really see it. But it's it's amazing. And these mountains surrounding it are holy mackerel. They look like something out of a matte painting. I can't believe that those are actual real mountains I'm looking at. But uh, anyway, it's actually, uh, hope you can see me. Hope the sun's not blocking this out too much, but it's uh, gonna be, a, it's another beautiful bluebird day. Now it's cloud in the sky, which probably means it's gonna get pretty darn hot later on. And we have two passes to climb. Island Pass and Donahue Pass. And those are both 11,000 footers, so it's going to be uh, a tough day for us. We're still like 19 miles from Tuolumne Meadows, which is where we need to get off trail to get resupplied. So uh, our goal is to get there by tomorrow, early tomorrow afternoon, so we can catch the shuttle into Lee Vining. Assuming, of course, that the shuttle is running on the 4th of July. <laughs> Yikes. Keep our fingers crossed. Hey Goldie, how about that view? Here's another shot of Thousand Island Lake from a little higher up on a hill. You can get a better look at it. See how it's got its name with all those islands out there. Not a thousand, but probably a hundred, a lot of them. But stunningly beautiful, just amazing. Okay, here's uh, Goldie walking up the trail, and yes indeed, this is the trail. At least, we hope it's the trail. <laughs> Otherwise, we're probably gonna walk right off the end of a cliff. Ugh. About a mile of the lake down below us still. And uh, yeah, it looks like there's actually a trail here. And this mountain there, as I was looking at this mountain coming up, I realized it looks like something that was painted by Bob Ross. It looks totally fake. Doesn't it look like a Bob Ross painting? Yeah, that's fake. An amazing view from up here. Goldie made the observation, totally correct, that uh, video just does not do this scene justice. And I'm sorry if I keep showing it. You guys have been looking at nothing but this lake for 60 seconds, but my God, if you were here, you just wanna, you just wanna pitch your tent right there and just sit there and look out at this lake all day long, because it's amazing.
You ready to take on Donahue Pass? Yep. All right. Well, it's looming above us up here. Doesn't look so big that way, but let me zoom in. Mile and a half away, almost all straight up. 1,000 feet elevation gain over the next mile to get up there. Whoops, hold it steady. Anyway, that's where we're going. Hey, hey. hi guys. Here we are. I'm, I'm standing here with another PCT hiker. It, it's been a while since I uh, ran into another PCT hiker that I could put on my uh, video here. But this young fellow's name is Mercury <laughs> and he's from Oregon. And Mercury, tell me, how many times have you hiked the PCT? This, this is my fourth time. His fourth time hiking yeah. the trail. Most of you, including, <laughs> including me, this is a once in a lifetime achievement and yet he's on his fourth time. So uh, I'm very, very jealous of this guy. <laughs> but, uh, but he's out here uh, living, the, living the dream like the rest of us. And uh, he said he's a fellow from Oregon. So like, like me, uh, he's, he's hiking home in, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, any yeah, in, anything? Yeah, nice to be done with the desert. De oh, back. oh, absolutely. <laughs> anything you want to share with your friends and family back home? Uh, yeah. Okay, not yet. Yeah, okay. It. Well, I, I, <laughs> I hope you're all doing good. I would, <laughs> I would say it was funny. So I was just setting up my tripod for a, for a shot, one of those fancy walk by scenery shots. And uh, he came walking up the trail and immediately, uh, immediately recognized me and Goldilocks. He said my uh, my kilt is kind of a dead giveaway, <laughs> but he uh, he had watched our videos uh, in, in preparation for his hike up here to kind of see what was uh, laying ahead. So I'm always happy to see one of my uh, uh, a fan of my channel and uh, great hiking with you. So yeah. good luck on the road ahead. Yeah, good seeing you guys. Okay, thanks, thanks everybody. Now here's a big marmot right in the middle of the trail eating a pile of horse poop. Um, that's kind of gross, but I guess maybe there's something in the horse's poop that uh, the marmots are lacking in their diet. Yuck. I'm like six feet away from this guy and he is just chowing down on that horse turd. I mean... He's not the least bit phased by me walking up on him with these two sharp sticks in my hand. All right, Marmot, you gotta get out of the way because I'm coming through. Mmm, horse poop, yummy. Go on, there he goes, finally. Good grief.